hello students how are you all i hope all are good okay so in our previous class we have started with the our last chapter multiplication let us continue with same chapter by solving the problems today we are going to solve a problem we have to multiply two digit into a single digit i think you have solved multiplication sums in your previous classes let us recall that okay so 23 into 7 this is what we have to solve right yes so to solve multiplication problem what is important for us we have to by heart tables compulsory if we know tables we can solve multiplication very easy okay so here first we have to start always with ones place okay so 7 3 are 21 so as it is 21 don't write it is a wrong format so i got 21 so i have to choose a first digit whichever present in the number so one is a first number or a number present in ones place so write one here and give two as a carry okay then 72s are we get 14 14 plus here we gave two as a carry so plus two if we add we get 16 so we got 161 okay so 23 into 7 is 161 so uh, always you have to follow step by step process so if you do 72s are 14 and then 73s are 21 your answer is wrong okay always you have to start the multiple with ones place okay let us go to our next sum here we have some question there were 54 students in a class room class of a school how many students 54 students the school has eight such classes how many classes the school has eight how many students were there in the entire school so in a school in each class we have 54 students so same uh, class we have eight classes so same number of students but no changes in the number of students we have to calculate for eight so what we have to do 54 into 8 so student don't forget to write the symbol whatever process if you are doing addition write plus subtraction write minus for multiplication write into symbol okay so 8 fours are 32 so write to give 3 as a carry okay then 8 fives are 40 40 plus 3 is 43 so we have to write as it is but if we is another number present other number present here after 5 we have to give carry for that number if there is a no other number we are, we are calculating for the last number then we have to write the both two digit as it is okay so there are 432 student in a school okay so next sum is manoj traveled 8 km in a day how many km 8 km per day if he travels the same distance every day how many distance does he travel in 25 days so 25 days is is traveling how many days 25 days so per day he is traveling 7 km right yes so into 7 same way you have to calculate which as we solve the first word problem we have to do the same thing so 7 fives are 35 so 5 3 carry if by mistake if you write 3 here 5 carry your sum will be your answer will be totally wrong okay so be concentrate and write whichever number comes in the ones place first and whichever number comes in the tens place give carry that number to the next number 72s are 14 14 plus 3 is 17 so 175 we got the answer so he 
Manoj travels 175 kilometer for how many days? 25 days. So, always while solving the math word problem, just you have to read the questions once or twice so that you will understand the concept. Next, whatever step you have to do, you will get. So, I hope you understood this problem. Uh, write it in your book. Solve once again so that you will understand.